Looking at our file My Bedroom with Resources Assigned, we can see in the indicator column that a couple of the tasks have little red people next to them. So these two here. Those little red people are telling me that somebody or something is over allocated on those two tasks. And if you hover over the red button, it says this task has over allocated resources. And the same for this one. This task has over allocated resources. Right click for options. The options really that we need to explore is what to do about this. Now you can tell which tasks are over allocated by a resource. And if you go into the resource sheet, you can tell which resource is over allocated because it's red. So it's pretty obvious, it's in your face. And if you look at the little warning symbol, it just says this resource is over allocated. So we're using the joiner too much. So our joiner is over allocated. Now the fact that it's over allocated, if we look at the Gantt chart, is affecting these two tasks here. And the problem is we're trying to use two joiners to do sand the woodwork in half a day and two joiners to do paint the woodwork in a day. And if we look at the resource sheet, we only have one joiner. So the solutions are potentially to leave it as it is. Don't do anything. We know it's over allocated. But we can't afford the project to fall any further behind. Therefore, the joiner is just going to have to work harder. Not really an ideal solution, but it is an option. Second is to ask the joiner to work overtime so they can still get the job done in the same working time. So we'll have a look at that as a potential solution. We could get somebody else to do the joiner's work, so to help him out. So in the Gantt chart, where we have these two tasks, we have the joiner. If we bring up the split view, we take the joiner down to one unit and perhaps add me in as the other unit. That way the duration will stay the same. The cost will actually go higher because I'm higher cost per unit, but we won't have that over allocation. The same for second task here. Let's take the joiner down to one because we have a joiner and I'll give them a hand. Gain as one unit. So the duration will remain as one. Now, I do have to click OK here, whereas in the floaty dialog box, it just happens automatically, which is quite good because it means I can make sure that the number of units is the same before and after the OK button. That way, I'm not going to adjust the duration accidentally. And OK. And we see the two little red people disappear because I've effectively assigned the over allocation to somebody else. If I undo, they'll come back. Now another option is to actually increase the number of joiners we have. So if I go back into the resource sheet and say, OK, let's employ a second joiner. And when I click away, the joiner is now not over allocated because we have two of them. So let's solve this problem. The next option is to actually ask project to do it. And this is a little feature known as leveling. And you can actually even turn on auto leveling so that project does it as you go along. It's not recommended but it will make sure that there's no over allocation in that case. So dealing with an over allocation is A, you leave it and just deal with it and whoever's having to do it has to do it. Not ideal, but it has been done. Look at assigning some overtime to that individual. And we're going to look at that as a separate lesson. Get someone else to cover some of the work. And we showed that, that I was able to do half the work so the joiner could do his normal day's work and we still got the job done in the same time or we increase the allocation of the particular resource. In this case, the joiner, so we ended up with two joiners. Now, obviously, the red bit, the over allocation, only happens on work resources because there is no maximum when we're dealing with materials. Materials, you can just go out and buy. So if you need 10,000 tax, 10,000 tax will be made available to you. There isn't a limit on tax in the world. And then the last option is to ask project just to level the project and therefore remove any of these over allocations. And we're going to look at that as a separate lesson as well. So those are your options for dealing with red work resources, that is, over allocated work resources.